Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com and today let's paint a missile platform. But since this is pretty complicated, we are gonna take two videos. The first video, we're gonna talk about the main structure. And then in the next video, we're gonna talk about the missiles themselves. So now that I've got my line drawing ready to go, as you often will have if you scan your image or draw it right in Photoshop, the first thing I wanna define is the silhouette. So I'm gonna use the pen tool and I'm gonna trace this outer border. You could call it the primary contour. And in doing so, I can quickly get a selection, which I can then turn into a mask on a layer group. So all that means is I have a group of layers, all of which are gonna paint inside of this line. And now it's down to using as many different layers as I want to paint the light and shadow under this form. So the lines are sitting on top and I'm painting underneath. And from a technical standpoint, what I'm doing here is I'm making temp layers. So I'm adding a new layer, adding paint, erasing some paint, and then merging it down as soon as I'm happy with it. But because of the way the layer group is set up, all of these different layers are gonna respect that outer border. I can't paint outside the lines, which means I can paint with active strokes and not have to worry about that edge control. But with this process, I think it's really important to mention the technique is not the hard part. Setting up the layer group is easy. Painting layer by layer is easy. What I'm doing is I'm painting an imaginary object. This is not something I have photo reference for. This is me drawing a line drawing, envisioning a light direction, and then figuring out where the shadows would be cast. And no matter how good you are at operating Photoshop, this is not necessarily obvious knowledge. So if you're new to the site, know that I talk a lot about this. I think this fundamental understanding is gonna make you a much better painting. In fact, it's no accident that I've made the Digital Painting Starter Kit, which is full of six premium series, and we talk all about this. There are four videos which talk about light and shadow, all in grayscale. We talk about going from a still life, learning how light and shadow works on very basic forms, and then eventually extrapolating into imaginary forms. But this is fundamental knowledge. It's understanding how to do these very basic things that allow me to dream up any shape, including this rocket platform, and paint light and shadow. So why are those four videos connected with two videos about perspective? Isn't perspective all about drawing skyscrapers and railroad tracks? Well, not really. No matter what you might think about perspective, I'd argue that it is a way to draw anything from your imagination. Perspective is just a measuring system that helps you arrange things on your paper. It's what makes things look believable, even if what you're drawing is a dragon or a space marine. And so coming back to this missile platform, that's all this is. This is a couple different basic shapes that are arranged in space, which is perspective, and then I imagine light and shadow on top of them. And that's what I call basic rendering. So I chose this rocket platform as an example of an imaginary object, but it could have been anything. And that's really the important takeaway here. I'm not painting in a specific way that's relevant to vehicles. I'm just painting from my imagination. The really great thing about this is if you learn those fundamental rules, starting with still lifes, you can draw anything. There's a lot of videos out there that talk about how to draw a very specific thing, which you might be able to reproduce the results on, but then what if you had to draw something else? So I would argue very strongly in favor of learning the fundamentals, whether or not you're using my premium series, just learn this stuff because it allows you to invent whatever you want. But as a bit of a recap, because I've gone on a little tangent here, to paint like this, you're gonna need to know the basic Photoshop techniques. You're gonna need to understand how to paint a layer group that has a mask on it to keep your stuff in the lines. And you're gonna need to know how to paint with temp layers. So if either of these techniques are new to you, make sure to follow the links at the bottom of the post and watch the videos I've made all about those subjects. And in the next video, we're gonna paint the missiles using some cool Photoshop tricks to make it more efficient. So thanks for watching and thanks for coming to the site, guys.